Today, I'm sharing one of my most treasured recipes, my great grandma's molasses baked beans. My family has been making this exact recipe for years. It's been on the menu of every cookout, barbecue, and summer get together. Over the years, the recipe has been modernized, but the end result is absolute perfection, and I'm so excited to share it with you today. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper, and I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make, like my great grandma's baked beans. I've eaten these my entire life, and it's one of those recipes that I'll be passing on to the next generation. So let me show you how to make them. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to make these molasses baked beans is to add the beans. Now I told you in the beginning, this recipe was modernized. So my great grandmother did not use canned pork and beans, but over the years we have modernized it and have switched to canned pork and beans and they work perfectly. So by all means, you can cook your own beans if you'd like. It's entirely up to you. Or you can go this route and use the canned one. You won't taste the difference. So we're gonna have, I'm actually making a half batch today. So um, that's what's great about this recipe is you can easily double it or have it, whatever you need to suit your needs. We just have a small family, so I am making a half batch. Okay, so I have my pork and beans in the baking dish. We are doing this all in the baking dish. No need to mess up another bowl if we don't have to. So to that, I'm going to add some minced onion. And then we're going to add some molasses. So this is one of the key ingredients to this recipe is a good molasses. And look at how thick and beautiful that is. It adds a distinct flavor that you're just not going to get from anything else. So if you want this to taste like my great grandma's recipe, don't skip the molasses. So I just use this plunger measuring cup. I love it. It's perfect for sticky ingredients. You can find the link to it in the show notes. Okay, so I'm also going to use it for the ketchup and we can just line up the measurements here that we need. Fill it up. And we're going to add that right into our baking dish. So plunge it out, scrape it off, good to go. Now we're gonna add a little bit of sweetness with some brown sugar. And I'm using light brown sugar, but if you use dark, just know dark sugar just has a little bit more molasses in it that gives it that darker, richer color and flavor. And to that, I'm going to add my house seasoning. We'll give this all a stir, get this mixed up. You guys, it's so good. This just smells like childhood to me. So rumor has it, my mom made these for a party once. Like I said, every summer party we have, my family is tasked with bringing the baked beans. <laughs> but she made these for this party and apparently she got a marriage proposal out of it. <laughs> so they're that good. So what do they call them when it's marry me beans? Maybe we'll call them marry me beans. <laughs> but my great grandmother would be proud to know that these beans have made it to YouTube. <laughs> okay, next up, we have one last ingredient to put in here. And in my opinion, it is like the key to the whole thing. And that is some bacon. So I'm gonna put this aside. The last thing we are adding to these beans is bacon. And in my opinion, this is the best part of the recipe. So here I have a few slices of regular plain old bacon, nothing fancy here, just gonna slice it in half. And then I like to cut up the bacon and put it in with the beans and mix it in. I just feel like then everybody gets a little bit of bacon. But my grandma and my great grandma, my mom, they would all line the top of it with the strips of bacon. So it's entirely up to you. I know my mom, she's not a fan of this version. She likes the other one, but I feel like everybody, this is more fair, right? Everybody gets some bacon then. So you can cut them as big as small or as small as you want. It's entirely up to you. These are your beans. Okay, so we have that. We'll bring our beans back in. And we will put the bacon right in there. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna just, I'm gonna stir it in, because that's how I like it. Make sure you have a good distribution of bean to bacon. 
Okay, this looks perfect. Now, you gotta plan for these beans because they do need some time in the oven. Uh, we're gonna pop them into a 350 degree oven and we're gonna let them go for about an hour. And that brings everything together and caramelizes all the sugars and makes the baking render out and oh, I can't wait. Okay, in the oven they go. Okay, here are our beans. I just took them out of the oven, so they are smoking hot. I cannot wait to dig into these. They smell so good, my mouth is actually watering. Okay, we're going right in. I'm gonna go with this corner here. Just look at how thick and rich they look. Oof. And we're gonna get some of that bacon in there. I can't wait to go in. I grabbed myself a spoon. Oh, I'm going right here for this nice piece of crispy bacon. A little bit of onion. Guys, these are hot though. I'm gonna burn my mouth, but I don't care. Mm. It's like a hug from my grandma. These are so good. I feel like I'm 10 again. Yep. My grandma would definitely be proud. See, I told you these molasses baked beans are definitely a keeper. So in my family, we go back and forth about whether the bacon should be chopped and put in with the beans or left whole and laid in strips across the top. Which would you prefer on yours? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to make the perfect burger to go with these incredible beans, make sure you check out my perfect burger recipe. Thanks for watching. You can get the full printable recipe in the video description below. I'll see you next time. Bye.